Hi all, in this video what I would like to do is just show you kind of a, just a real quick overview of my tool sets. Uh, as you see here I have my brushes and uh, these are the brushes that I will use for the most part in every painting. I like to sketch things out with the scratch board tool. This is really thick but I get some really good line with the scratch board tool as I uh, just start to develop the composition. The Digital Water, New Simple Water, is a brush that I really like building up value. Okay, and I can go from dark to light and light to dark. Uh, and it's just a, a wonderful glazing tool to dry it. Uh, just go over to layers, dry, uh, digital water. And then I can make another pass if I want with the media. And uh, you can see it gets darker. And then if I go lighter, I can pull back to what I had before I dry. So I use the digital water as a glazing tool to build up my values. And then uh, one of my other favorite brushes you'll see me use a lot is the glazing constructing brush. And you'll see for the glaze, this is where I use opaque media. What I like is it has a slight transparency to it so I can press a little harder to either get darker or lighter values. My, these are some of my favorite brushes. So you'll see me use the particle fray brush to create a real painterly feel and kind of give the impression of uh, leaves and things like that. The particle gravity brush I'll use. I use three blenders. One blender I won't be using in this demo, but it's a blender I use a lot is just add water for uh, skies to soften some of my clouds and things like that. I use these a lot in every painting, the coarse oily uh, blender and the palette knife. Again, new simple water I'll use. I draw in scratch board. Um, I use thick to and uh, thin pencil. Uh, and then this is another favorite brush of mine that I use is the concept art uh, brush uh, in, under chalks and then uh, these are some other brushes that I can get in effects and I really like the sergeant brush also but I won't use all of these in the initial three videos that I'm showing you really I I use the array of brushes when I get to detail I use just these few brushes in here uh, when I'm developing uh, the block in and getting the painting to a point where I like it if I don't like it, then it's not worth taking any farther. The other function that you'll see me use, and, and I'm pretty basic in, you know, Essential 7 has a lot of opportunity for you to explore, and I generally say explore, explore, explore. That's the best way to learn. And then start to limit yourself to the workflow that you, you have. And all the things that you explored, you could use those at a one-off time and things like that. Um, I generally don't use everything that the program has to offer because it's just an enormous amount. Uh, it's just great digital painting experience. But um, I limit myself to uh, get the work done. One of the things you'll see me do a lot is I'll select all, copy and paste my layer. And I'll use these functions a lot to the the color layer sometimes just to get a better, better temperature of color um, without um, glazing with the digital water. I could create a color layer and it'll adhere to the value because whenever you're glazing, you're deepening uh, and darkening your values. But you'll see me use the multiply function a lot. See that? If I turn that on and off, I can increase my values of uh, my block in or my painting really quickly. And if I don't like areas, I could come back in and erase out uh, or just get a little bit lighter uh, in some areas. So I can just grab a brush and get a little bit lighter as if I want some reflected light back there. So you'll see me throw some texture in and I use the layer functions. Um, I'll direct paint texture and I'll drop in uh, some random texture and you'll see that I'll play with these functions here. Mostly you'll see me play with uh, multiply overlay soft light and hard light. Um, so be watching for that uh, in the video. So these are really how I set up the environment that I'm going to be uh, painting for you guys just to show you uh, a little bit of the uh, tool sets that I use for Essential 7 uh, that really gets me moving through the painting quickly. Hope you enjoy the series.